Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're going to be doing some big division. Oh my goodness. We have 18,635 divided by 22. Don't worry, we're going to take it step by step. Easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. But before we do that, check out what's behind me right here. You see that dinosaur over there? Yeah, I love dinosaurs and that's why I created a new channel called Dino Math. Take a look at the link right there. If you can go over there, hit that link, check out some of the videos over there. I'd sure be so happy if you can go over there and hit that subscribe button to that channel, also to the one right here. All right, let's get back to business. All right, so first of all, how do I start? I need to take this number right here and see how many times I can put it into this big number. We're just gonna take one number at a time. Can I put 22 into one? Just can't, can you? Can I take 22 and put it into 18? I still can't. Can I put 22 into 186? You can, but how many times? So that's what we have to do over here on the side is figure out um, a little figuring right here. So I'm gonna take 22 times, let's just say five. So I'm gonna put five right here. And sometimes you kind of have to guess a little bit to get started. So 22 times five, five times two is 10. Carry the one, five times two is 10 again, and then 11. I think I can go quite a bit more. All right, so let's try 22 times seven. So seven times two is 14. Carry the one, seven times two is 14, plus the one would be 154. I think I can go a little more. Let's try it out. So 22 times eight, eight times two, 16. Carry the one, eight times two again is 16, plus the one is 17. 176. Now I'm just gonna show you, uh, let's just try nine, but I think that's gonna go way over. So 22 times nine, nine times two is 18, carry the one, 18, and then 1998. Too big, too big. We gotta stick with 22 times eight. So that would be 176. I take this eight right here, and I'm gonna put it right here above that six. So let's go ahead and do that. Put that eight right there. Eight times 22 is 176. I write 176 right here. And now my next step is to subtract. Yeah, subtract. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract this number here. Six minus six is zero. And eight minus seven is uno, one. So I put one right there. Now, don't worry if you got a double digit number you know, as a, uh, you know, that you're left over with. Our next step is we need to drop the next number down, all right? So three comes all the way over here, right there, 103. And I start the whole process over. So how many times can I put 22 and 103? I have 22 times five is 110, and that is too big. So let's try over here, 22, times four. So four times two is eight, and four times two is eight again. So we're gonna be using uh, this one right here, four. All right, so I put the four right above the three, and four times 22 is 88. Now you're like, oh my goodness, I gotta subtract, and I gotta do a little, you know, borrowing. That's all right, you know, we can do it here. So I'm gonna cross off, um, I need to, to make this number bigger right here. And I don't have a number here, so I crossed up the zero, and this would be a 10, and then that ends up being a nine, and then this is a 13. So I hope I'm not going too fast for you, but I'm sure that if you're on to numbers like this, you've probably done a lot of you know double digit subtraction with regrouping. All right, so I got 13 minus eight. What is it? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, W five right here, five, and then nine minus eight, Uno, one. Now, the next step is, because I can't put 22 into 15, next step is to bring that next number down. Bring it down. <laughs> All the way down here. Now I have 100, 155. Can I put 22 into 155? You sure can. How many times? Let's take a look here. I, I, I saw this one right here, 22 times seven is 154. I don't think you're gonna get any closer unless you're right on there. Um, so let's put seven right here. Seven 
times 22 is 154. All right, so I put 154 there, I subtract, and I have a remainder of one right here. So I put remainder one. There's our answer. How'd you like it? I always have fun doing division, especially some big, gigantic numbers like that. I don't know, I feel it's kind of relaxing. It's like a puzzle. I hope you're treating math like a puzzle, like a game, and just having fun with it. Remember, when you're doing mathematical problems, sometimes there's so many different ways on how to find the answer. You just got to figure out what works best for you. Hey, have a great day out there. Get outside and do some playing, and I'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.